Well, good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. It's such pretty weather here in Texas today, the day after the election, and I still don't know who my president's going to be. But we've had beautiful fall weather, and I've been busy today. A friend came over, and we decided we would try to key in us a little bit of Wendy's Chili. Now, if y'all don't have a little Wendy's fast food place around you, you don't know how good that chili is, but we've got them. Their chili's wonderful. So we've got us some chili canned, and it tasted like it. We got the recipe off the internet, and I didn't film it, but oh my goodness, it's good. And so I need, a, I need to make a video for y'all to watch tomorrow, which would be Thursday. So I've got a recipe that I've been wanting to share that's really quick and easy. And again, I'm going to use a Jiffy product. Remember, we did the Jiffy um, pie crust. This is Jiffy Golden Yellow Cake Mix. It's just a little box. Let me show you. 50 cents a box at Walmart. It takes one egg and a half a cup of water. And that's all it takes to make a little yellow layered cake. So we're going to make a Jiffy Pineapple Upside Down cake in the iron skillet. It's going to be easy. I think y'all can see what I'm doing. I have melted a fourth of a cup of butter. I pammed my iron skillet. And I've melted a fourth of a cup of butter in it. And I'm going to just open up my Jiffy cake mix. And remember I told y'all they don't advertise. Word of mouth is what gets their product sold. So I'm giving them free advertisement today. But I love their products. I like the Jiffy cornbread mix. And I like the pie crust and the pizza crust. And I love it. But I'm just going to put this in my little measuring cup pitcher here. And it calls for a half of a cup of water and one egg. So I'm going to put my water in and let me get an egg. One egg. And I'm going to crack it in my measuring cup just to be safe. Get in there. You get a booger. Got one little piece of shell, but I grabbed it out right quick. Okay, I'm going to give this a little bit of a mix, and then I'm going to add my egg to it, make it a little richer. This is quick and easy. You can whoop this up, bake it about 20 to 25 minutes, more like 22, 23 minutes at 350, and uh, you've got you a good cake to serve. Get all those little lumps out. Put my egg in. I just love country eggs. They're, up, they're so dark and pretty. My cake dough will be yellower than yours if you don't have country eggs. I think that's mixed. I'll just use my spatula to stir it a little bit more. Make sure there's nothing dry on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Now I've melted, I told you I melted a half of a stick of butter in my skillet. And I'm going to take a third to a half a cup of brown sugar and sprinkle it around in there. And then I'm going to lay some pineapple slices on it. Now I'm just using um, just canned pineapple slices and I'm just going to lay them around on my brown sugar and butter one in the middle and one more there and I have one or two left that won't be a problem I like pineapple. Then I'm going to put me a marching cherry in the middle of each one of them just so it'd be so pretty and look like it's supposed to look. I need a little bit more brown sugar over here. Okay. Now that we've got it, the pretty part done, I'm going to show y'all. See? Okay, now I'm just going to pour my cake mix around on the top of it. 
and put it over there in the June oven. I just love that June oven. Put it in there for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'll watch it. And I always hope it'll flip out pretty. But you know everybody has mess ups and y'all are just at my house. This is something professional. So if it messes up when I flip it out, we're just going to eat the crumbs and thank God we got them. Now that one little 50 cent box of cake mix made a perfect topping for my skillet cake. So I'm going to go over there and get it in the oven and I'm going to cook it for, like I said, about 22 minutes and then I'll let it cool a little bit and I'll flip it out and show you what it looks like. I thought I would come over here and show y'all I got the skillet in the oven there. Let me see. And it's been in there about... 10 minutes, so it'll be about 13, 12, 13 minutes, it'll be done. I want to bring y'all over there and show you. I got it out 23 minutes, and I'm going to let it cool about 5 minutes, and then I'm going to flip it out of that iron skillet onto a plate, and I just hope it does pretty. I'm going to see if I can get this to turn out like it's supposed to. Well, we had one stubborn little piece of pineapple, but I can fix that. Put it right back in its place. And then all this good stuff that's left in the bottom, I'm going to try to put it somewhere on the cake. Now, let's move him over a little bit. Clean up the edges. If I can get that up on the cake, because that's goodness that's around those edges. Troy told me that he would be my taste tester. He likes pineapple. I'm just showing y'all what I do uh, to make it pretty. I always clean up around the edges, and I'm going to cut a piece here in a minute and take it in there with a glass of sweet milk and let him have a treat. Now, isn't that pretty? And it was so easy and cheap. That little box of cake mix only takes one egg and half a cup of water. So get you some of them. Walmart has them 50 cents a box, and so does Kroger. Put them on your pantry shelf in case of. You can make something sweet for your family. You could just make a little yellow layer cake, put you a little cinnamon or nutmeg on it. You could have a good little cake even if you didn't put pineapple and brown sugar and cherries on it, but that sure makes it good. All right, I'm going to cut Troy a piece and take it in there and let him tell me how good it is. I know he's going to like it. I hope y'all will try this. It's so easy, and I love cooking in my iron skillet. It makes me feel old-timey. I know I'm old, so I might as well feel old-timey, huh? Y'all come back in a day or two, and we'll have something else good. And I'm just going to tell y'all how I feel about all this stuff that's swirling around. God Almighty is in control, and He has His way, ultimately, on who rules which country. So whatever the Lord decides is best for our country or is best for the fulfillment of His Scripture, that's what's going to happen, and we just have to trust Him. So with that being said, I'm going to take Troy some cake, and I'm going to sit down and rest a little bit and plan what I'm going to do for y'all Saturday. The good Lord bless you. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and share the channel with your friends, and hit that little bell so you'll be notified when I put up another video. If you haven't watched my apron video, I'm making aprons to sell, and it's the one that says aprons, aprons, aprons. And I have a lot more fabrics, some newer fabrics that I'm going to be showing shortly. But if you're interested, if you go watch it, you know, Make a comment and let me know and I'll get back with you. The Lord bless y'all.